What's up guys, welcome back. Uh, this is my second day in a row, so definitely uh, I'm gonna pick up on the uploads and try and do them as frequently as possible, whether that means every day or every other day or whatever, three a week. Um, just kinda depends on how much stuff I'm doing during the week or during the day, and uh, we'll go from there. But yesterday I mentioned that I was putting a digital dash in this thing, and so today I'm gonna mount that thing up in the center console and figure I might as well show you guys what I'm doing. Um, so anyways, this, uh, this is the interior of my S15. I have a Haltech ECU, which is a very, very kind of programmable ECU that uh, kind of manages the whole engine system, lights, everything else. And the digital dash, the reason I got that is because it plugs directly into that. So I don't need like a bunch of gauges. I don't need, you know, a bunch of needless wires when I can just get this. And what this does is just kind of shows everything on one screen and usually you mount this right in front of your steering wheel but i'm kind of mounting mine off to the side because of my all of my oem gauges still work so anyways it has these four bolts on the back i got this uh scrap metal just from like home depot i think this is actually for like wood but i'm just going to use it um i already drilled the holes right here so be quiet dog I'm trying to film over here uh so i already drilled the holes and it fits kind of like this um, and then what I'm going to do is kind of bend this up and mount this to the back of my center console back here. So kind of like behind here. And then this will sit up top up here. Um, but yeah, anyways, a lot of cutting, a lot of uh, trial and error, I guess you could say. And then we'll kind of get this thing dialed in. Um, I got some, some power tools over here to, to get the job done. Like I said, I already drilled. I got to tin snip this thing to the right size and then I'm just going to grind it just so there's no rough edges or anything like that. How do I feel about being uh, member a of member Information of the Information Society? That's a difficult question because I didn't know we were in the Information Society. So what I ended up doing was use the tin snips to cut up the metal and then the grinder to kind of sign things down a little bit. It's not the cleanest looking thing in the world, but I think I'm just gonna end up painting it black so you can't see any of the rough edges or whatever when it's in the car, but I uh, bolted this up. You can see I got my holes marked right here. This is where I'm gonna be drilling through, and then I got this black hardware so that it's uh, as hidden as it can be because that'll show through through the front, but um, it's just four small holes, but this is the general idea of what I got going on right now. Um, I'm gonna go drill those holes. Here's primarily how it'll look. Uh, you can see I got the black uh, hardware right there. It's holding in pretty good. Um, actually, you cannot see it really, actually, you can't see it at all when it's uh, when it's gonna be hard mounted. So I don't think I'm gonna even take the time to paint it black, but here, I'll show you the back. I just mounted it up all sweet, and now I got excited to cut out this second piece and realized that I should probably take this off. I got it all tightened down and uh, use that as a template for the next piece just so they're semi-symmetrical. Um, it's pretty centered, it's a little tiny bit off but not enough to even notice. Basically if I wouldn't have told you that you would have never noticed. But um, yeah, it looks pretty decent so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one off and I'll show you guys when it's done. Okay so here is my final product. Uh, it turned out pretty nice, it's pretty centered, pretty level. Um, no real complaints, I mean obviously I didn't want to have to do this hardware. But, you know, it is what it is, and it looks better than if I were to drill it, like, straight into the plastic or whatever, but here's the backside. Um, pretty, I don't know, it looks okay. I'm going to go to an event this weekend, like I said, in Las Vegas, and if I can see this at any point, like that, um, this silver, then I'm going to paint it black, but for the meantime, it looks fine. It's pretty symmetrical, pretty centered, like I said, and pretty level, so... Um, yeah, I'm gonna go plug this thing in and I'll show you guys what it looks like uh, when it's all fired up. Okay, this thing is all done up, so let's go throw this thing in. I am dying to put this in because OCD me really, really, really wants to take off this stupid screen protector, but I didn't want to do it until it was mounted on there, so I haven't done that yet, so I'm pretty excited to get this thing in and then take that stupid screen protector off. Okay, this is gonna be kind of hard to film and hold this and also put in the screws and everything. So I'm gonna set this down, hold on.
super, super stoked about this. And now I can finally take off that stupid plastic. All right, here we go. Two hours later. It'll be nice and clean. Sweet. Looks pretty sweet. So usually you mount it like right here, but all my OEM gauges still work, including my clock. Um, and even this actually turns on, but I don't have my fan, or I don't have my AC or heater hooked up, so uh, I'm just kind of running it for now. And then there was a head unit here, and I actually bought a head unit, and then ended up selling it because I don't have any door speakers or speakers in the back. So I thought it'd be cool to mount this here and kind of not take up the room up here and not kind of, I don't know, because you have to mount it to this thing. It doesn't actually sit in here. It's too big. Um, and I do like the look of the OEM gauges. So anyways, this is what it looks like it turns on. So fires up. I put my company's logo, Circuit Spirit, and then let it focus. So I designed this on Photoshop, the, um, the background with Animal Auto. That's who works on my car, Andrew Molina, uh, Circuit Spirits, other design and then um, my logo and then I've made these all in Photoshop so they'd line up and be kind of I don't know symmetrical and like in line on the program you can do it but I didn't like it like that um, so just have my vitals basically RPM boost battery water temp uh, <clears throat> my air intake and then my AFR which is obviously reading a little high right now because the car's not on oil pressure and my fuel pressure um, all these things are kind of vital to see when you're drifting and obviously when the car is performing at a high rate or a high temp or whatever you know I can keep an eye on that kind of stuff shut it down if it gets too high um, and yeah kind of see the adjustments and there's also different pages so I'll, sh I'll kind of show you this so it comes with a general layout um, let's go through these this is what it looks like I'm not a huge fan of that but I still have it on there if I need to use it these are again just kind of vitals this is for your lap times if you set up like a uh, GPS or whatever. And then this is just like an advanced style of like the vitals. So most of the temps that I already have, this is kind of like, you know, your computer is constantly adjusting. So it's the percentage that it's adjusting and then other vitals and then like speedometer. I don't have that hooked up right now. Um, mill, which is like um, something light and i forget <laughs> it's like a it's like basically like your uh your if your check engine light comes on that'll throw a switch so yeah all set up all hooked up i hope you guys enjoy that i know it's a little nerdy and a little um i don't know on the car side but uh trust me the moto vlogs are coming i'm just kind of doing what i can right now until i get the okay to ride or i kind of have the okay to ride but i need to get the strength and the endurance back and in a month, I'll hop on the bike and then show you guys uh, kind of a day in the life of Moto and kind of walk you through what I'm going through. And yeah, but thanks again for watching. Like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And I'll uh, see you guys soon. Later.